Welcome to my lecture online. Now we're going to explore the concept of the cross product. A product between two vectors which is different from the dot product. And how is it different? Well, we'll start very slowly. We're going to start conceptually first. So, the definition of a cross product is the following. The cross product of two vectors, let's call them A and B, is another vector C. So that's the difference between a cross product and a dot product. Remember, the resultant of a dot product is a scalar quantity, not a vector. But the resultant of a cross product is another vector, let's call it C, and the direction of that vector is perpendicular to the plane containing A and B. So let's say that we have a plane in which we have two vectors A and B. Now when we take the cross product between the two vectors, and let's say the angle between them is theta, the cross product will be another vector, and that vector is perpendicular both to the vector B and to the vector A, so that if you imagine that A and B are in a single plane, C will be perpendicular to that plane, and so we can say that A cross B is equal to C. Now notice we haven't explained yet how we calculate that, that will come in a later video. The direction of C is directed by the is determined, not directed, but is determined by the right hand rule. So what you do is you take your fingers and point them in the direction of the first vector A, then you curl your fingers into the direction of B where B is, and then your thumb will point in the direction of C. So it's A cross B is equal to C. So that gives you the direction of C. Now notice that if we go B cross A, we have to point your fingers in the direction of B, curl your fingers in the direction of A, now your th thumb points downward, which means that the direction of the cross product, when we go B cross A instead of A cross B, is exactly in the opposite direction. Therefore, B cross A is equal to negative C, the other direction of C. So it's pointing, it's still perpendicular to the plane, but not pointing in the opposite direction. The magnitude of the resultant of C, the magnitude of A cross B, the magnitude of C, is simply the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the sine of the angle theta. Remember with the dot product, the magnitude of the dot product, which is also the dot product because it's a scalar quantity, was AB times the cosine of the angle between them. But the magnitude of the cross product is A times B times the sine of the angle between them which means that if the angle between them is zero, the cross product is zero because the sine of zero is zero. And the maximum magnitude of the cross product is obtained when the angle between the two vectors is equal to 90 degrees. So at 90 degrees, you get the maximum magnitude of C, the cross product, which is simply A, a times B, the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B, and if the angle between them is zero, then a, b times the sine of zero would be zero. The cross product will equal zero. There's no magnitude at that point. So at least that gives you a conceptual feel, a conceptual knowledge of what a cross product is. Now in the next videos, we're going to show you how to actually calculate those values. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how to do that.